Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast, where the magic is in learning. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Mystic Access Podcast for March 9th, 2021. I'm Kim. I'm Chris. And we are going to share a couple things with you in this episode. Primarily, we're going to share an update to Chris's Freshly situation. We also want to let you know that we don't yet know what March's class is going to be all about yet. But we will let you know as soon as we do. So those of you who are on our events list, our events mailing list, you'll likely find out before we announce it on the podcast. Because we just haven't had the chance to figure it all out yet and figure out precisely what we're going to be talking about and what we're going to be discussing then. So apologies for that. However... By the time you listen to this podcast, you should be able to download both January's class on the Evo player and February's class on Get Your Label On, on the free downloads page of the site. Those will be up. You can check those out and download them. And if you want to be the first to get information about upcoming monthly classes, free and paid classes, then you can certainly join our free events mailing list and do so. Before we get into the main event, I wanted to talk about our Evo 10 audio tutorial this behemoth it's 10 hours and it is done it's complete great and here's what we decided to do for those of you that purchase a player from us you get the tutorial for free it comes with the product for those that aren't sure that they want to spend 230 dollars on a player you can buy the tutorial separately and then when you go back to the site if you purchase the player from us it will automatically be discounted. So you're not going to be paying the full $230 as you have pre-purchased the tutorial or purchased it without the player. And this thing really takes you from the very basics, what it is, why you might want it, orientation, all the way through all the advanced functions of the player. So we really encourage this. If it's something that you're really seriously considering, our other options don't tell you what you want to know, this could be an option to let you know if what the player does will meet your needs and you can probably figure it out from the information available on the website and through the other resources we have available the class we did as well as the 30 minute clip that chris and barry did prior to that so between those resources that should be able to help you but if you still need assistance and you're kind of wanting to know exactly how to use it prior to ordering it or if you're not really sure yet that's an option too and it's a cheap option to find out if this more pricey player pricey in terms of compared to the tutorial anyway is what you want. So now on to Freshly. Tell us the latest in the Freshly saga, Chris. Okay, a couple things that we want to keep in mind when ordering from Freshly. One, decide if you want to use PayPal or credit card. You cannot change that option within Freshly. Decide if you have multiple PayPal accounts, which PayPal account you want to use, because you cannot change that option in Freshly. So again, Decide if you want to use credit card or PayPal. Now, credit cards, you should be able to change multiple credit cards or something like that. I don't know because I use PayPal. But for sure, you cannot use multiple PayPal accounts should you wish to. Maybe there's a reason why you want a subscription to come out of one PayPal account rather than another. But that's not an option. So my first order never arrived. So it was supposed to arrive the previous Friday and it did not arrive. I must say that their customer support has been stellar. I emailed them Saturday morning at 5 a.m. And by 5.10, I had a response from a customer service representative where they refunded my order price and they gave me a coupon for my troubles. So I let the second shipment come through and it did arrive. And it is right here in front of me. It's a decent sized box. Wait, before we open this box, didn't they give you some like some kind of credit too when you had that issue with your first order? They did. Yes, they gave me like ten dollars or something in credit because of the issue that I had with my order, which was cool. Now, what I have in here is a box, and I've already ripped the ripped the tape off, and. Piece of paper, which is more than likely the invoice, invoice and yeah. packaging. Then you've got the kind of like stuff that you would, you know, to help insulate to keep the stuff cool. You have what I'm guessing is 
a very, very large block of ice. Either it's dry ice or not. I'm holding it in my hand, but it's also surrounded by a really, really thick plastic something. So this may be dry ice. I would guess that it was some sort of dry ice to keep it cool, but I'm not 100% sure. It's definitely a big block of something. Now, we've got food. And it kind of looks like the food that you would get from Top Chef Meals with the same casing, the slide off cover and the cellophane on the top. And it looks like your entree and your vegetables are in two separate little compartments. Now, what they say is put them in the fridge. And if you put them in the fridge, you can eat them within three minutes because they're not frozen solid. What we're going to do is we're going to use something like Voice Stream Scanner in order to see if we can figure out what the meal is. So let me find it. It's pork chop with sea salt potatoes and roasted carrots. With sea salt potatoes and roasted carrots. So yeah. let's see what. Let's see. Let's grab another one here. We're going to take another. Another. Kick up your feet for French inspired flick with sea salt potatoes. Another one. Pork tichon. 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 Pork chop. Crop image. Next order discard. Button. Discard. Capture image. Button. Play. Button. Crop image. Button. Enhance image. Button. A few text or in hard crop image. The food truck pulled up our pig on this Mexican street. The food truck pulled up our pig on this Mexican street. Corner stable is served with a spice. Lighted up with green leaves. Cool. Enhance image. Button. So that'll give you an idea of what you can get using Voice Stream Scanner. Voice Stream or any kind of OCR package for that matter. I got the six meal plan and I think I'm going to have to put them in the refrigerator so that I can eat them. But for now, we're gonna take a walk into the kitchen and we're gonna cook the meal. So guys, this is gonna be a real short podcast because I'm not waiting to eat. But we did want to give you an update on the Freshly Saga, as Kim put it, because I was a little nervous in thinking that they weren't going to come for a second day, for a second time. Well, tell them what happened with your shipping. That explains why you were so nervous about it. It was weird. Well, the thing weird. didn't update very much. The shipping service is one that neither of us has used in the past. It's called Laser, isn't it? Laser shipping, yes. Laser shipping? Yes. And what it did was, which was kind of bizarre, is that it said that my expected delivery date was the 8th, which is not the expected delivery date. And once it finally updated on the date of delivery, it said the expected delivery date was the day before, which is kind of weird. And that's what it did the last time. So I was a little concerned. I microwave for three minutes. So now we're using the Amazon Smart Oven to go through our freshly meal or to cook our fresh meal and they look a little bit bigger than the top chef meals i think they're about 13 ounces on average right so that means they are by a lot yeah so we're not gonna let you guys hear the whole running of the microwave for three minutes but it wasn't frozen solid for sure i mean that wasn't dry ice i don't know what it is i'm not willing to open that plastic and stick my hand in there i already cut my finger once a week i don't need it to uh cut again so or hurt again I'm going to be anxious to see if you need to nuke some of this a little more because veggies versus meat. What'd you do? The pork chop? What'd you end up yeah. doing? Yeah. I did the pork chop. It's got one of my favorite things in it. Carrots. Yeah. So there's multiple packages. Remember, guys, it's six meals. Is six <coughs> the shortest one or is it four? Is it no, six? four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Four. I forgot about four. Four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. So you can pick how many meals you want weekly. It's really starting to smell good, too. Yeah. So I think that's right. I got one with macaroni and cheese, and I can't wait to find that one. <laughs> you know, I'd be curious to know, for the heck of it, if they have barcodes on them. Yeah, well, that's something we might be able to play with and see. But I don't think if they're barcodes, 
I don't think you could use them because they randomly change their stuff on the menu all the time. This is true. It's interesting, though, because earlier in the year, or last year, rather, we talked about a place called Revive Superfoods. They actually do have barcodes, but none of the databases that we've used finds them. So, Right. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. I hear that microwave. Here comes the microwave. Let's see. Let's pull this out very carefully. <laughs> when you peel this off, obviously you want to peel it off with the steam facing away from you. So that you don't burn yourself, because that would suck. Let's see. The vegetables are nice and hot. The meatloaf is nice and hot. I'm just touching it. I thought it was pork chop. Or pork chop. Pork chop. Yeah, you're right. It was a pork chop. I think it's like so a Dijon pork, pork chop or something. Uh -huh. So there's the closing of the microwave. Now I gotta go find me a fork. I need to taste test this. <laughs> We're taste testing live. Let's see. I have a little bit of uh, potatoes, which are good. And the pork chop, or whatever it is. <laughs> okay. I think I would have to rate this quite good. The pork chop, just in that three minutes, is very, very like butter. It tastes like butter. It's not dry. It's very juicy. It's quite good. You have to have a carrot for me. Those are my favorite. Nope. Okay. So, thank you everybody for joining us for this rather little short podcast, but it's filled with the information that we want and need. And I think I need to eat this before it gets cold. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. The preceding podcast is a presentation of Mystic Access, where the magic is in learning. If you are blind or visually impaired and desire to discover how our comprehensive products and services may support and empower your assistive technology journey, we welcome your visit at www.mysticaccess.com. Have a question or wish to place an order via phone? Call us at 716-543-3323. If you have something to share about this podcast episode, press 4 to reach our Mystic Access podcast comment line. Email us at info at mysticaccess.com. Connect with us on Twitter at twitter.com slash mysticaccess and like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mysticaccessempower. Would you like to spread the word about our podcasts? Your friends and colleagues may listen and subscribe at www.mysticaccesspodcast.com. If you enjoy our episodes, consider leaving us an iTunes rating and review. Your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks for spreading the word, and thanks for being a listener. We hope you enjoyed this episode.